There's a car race underway, pitting traditional car makers against upstarts from Silicon Valley. The finish line, getting self-driving cars on the road first. And maps are the fuel in this race. But it was really about getting you from A to B. So maps are transitioning now from being something visual to something that's embedded inside the car. It's really going to become a component of the car that not only helps you get from A to B, but it's actually going to help the car drive. It's also knowing everything in real time. It's an extremely complex business. So why would BMW, Daimler, and Audi team up to spend $3.1 billion to acquire Nokia's map division? It's because the car makers are afraid of ceding control to the likes of Apple and Google. And what makes these maps even more valuable? There aren't that many map data sets in the world. Apple with a nascent product, Google and its Google Maps. There's TomTom Tom out of Amsterdam and Nokia's here. There was some that, uh, thought that it might go higher. So the automakers may have landed a sweet deal, letting them map the future of the auto industry.